Welcome back everyone. I hope everyone got their crypto fill last week. I did but I must admit there's something about a sturdy, solid stock that gets me going. I agree, so today we're going to be testing what the big guns are packing. Let's start with Microsoft. I've got two words for you, ChatGPT. Did you know Microsoft owns ChatGPT and they really could turn Bing into a worthy Google competitor? DALI, Valley and GitHub were all acquired with an overarching strategy in mind. They might succeed if they can fix that god-awful UI and their search time improves. Also, did you know most people search for Bing via Google? It's a hard no from me. But their P.E. ratio is only 24x. Microsoft is on a six-month low. I'm on the lookout for safe growth stocks for 2023 and this fits the bill. I need more convincing Liv. What say you about CEO, Satya Nadella? He's a man of the people. Satya's been at Microsoft since 1992. I'm double pumping. I'm hodling. Can we move on to Amazon? Amazon's P.E. ratio is 80x, a much richer valuation. Spill the tea, staff. Amazon has reached a tipping point of scale whereby they can switch focus to high margin services. I expect their AWS to grow significantly along with their margin of 30%. Exactly. Amazon demands a higher price to earnings multiple because they prioritize cash flow over earnings. So where can the price get to, for our viewers? Is there any chance of it peaking at $150? $150 is a mighty stretch, even for you, but $120 for 2023 end is a possibility. I'm pumping for sure. Their CEO, Andy Jassy is a stable pick. Having been at Amazon since 1997 and it was he who was responsible for their move into the cloud. I'm a double pump. Let's squeeze in one more. Another blue chip classic, MasterCard, sitting at a PE of 35x. Overvalued darling, why should I pay more of a free cash flow multiple than Apple or Google? They just increased their dividends but it's not enough to sway me. I'm dumping. I'm with you there. But their CEO Michael Meebach is a giant plus as he could spearhead their move into digital as they compete with PayPal, Stripe and Capital One. I'm hodling. We really should be charging for this but we never will. Toodles. Disclaimer. This is financial advice and you should place at least 200% of your net worth and monthly income into stocks. Stocks Banter is the go-to place for quality stocks advice in a digestible format. Good luck pumping, dumping and hodling.